everybody so today i'm going to show you everything that i got in the month of april and i have quite a bit of stuff <laughs> so let's get right on to it so first off i will show you what i got from shein and it's a sweater looks like this I got this for the Spencer Sutherland, Spencer Sutherland concert that I went to last Friday and I had a blast and I posted pictures on my um, pictures and videos of the concert and of me meeting him because I got to meet him um, on my Instagram and I'll put my uh, username in the description box once I upload this video. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. I wore it with um, some black skinny jeans and it was really cute. So yeah, I thought this was really good quality for Shein and I got it for like nine bucks. So deal. I would totally recommend Shein clothing because it's pretty good quality. Next. I got, sorry my hair is annoying the crap out of me, because I just took a shower. Ugh, okay, hold on, there we go. Okay, next, I got this Soap and Glory, uh, it's upside down. This Soap and Glory Pack Up Your Bubbles kit, and it has Sorry, it's upside down. Um, I'm not gonna flip it because this video is gonna be long. But it has the Clean On Me Body or er, Shower Gel, the Scrubby of Your Life, uh, Righteous Body Butter, Eye Mask, like a eye hydrogel, uh, uh, eye patches things. And then the vitamin C face uh, wash, and then the um, dress shampoo. So yeah, I got this from Macari, um, and I'm excited to try everything out. I've already tried the dress shampoo and the face wash, and the this, and the scrub, and I, it's pretty good. Although the dry shampoo is okay, it's not my favorite scent, but it, eh, it's not my favorite dry shampoo that I've tried, um, but it does a pretty nice job of, of absorbing the oil, but it doesn't do the best job, but it does a decent job, so, yeah, I'm so glad I got it, though, so, let's move on, because it's going to take a while go through all this stuff um next I got a sample or a mini size I don't know what size it is but of the Amika perk up dry shampoo I also got this from Makari and I've also tried it out and it's like the bomb.com I might like it better than the verb one that I have but this is a really good dry shampoo so yeah, I'm really glad I got it. And I will probably get the full size once I use this up. So yeah, glad, super glad I got it. Next, I got a sample size of the One Size Secure the Blur Primer. I also got this from Macari. And I have tried it out on its own, but I haven't tried it out with like foundation yet. Um, so we'll see how it goes. See if I like it. Hopefully I like it, but yeah. Excited to try it out with foundation. Next, I got another primer. And it is the Hourglass um, 
Mineral Veil Primer. And it has SPF 15, which is really good. I'll show you how tiny it is. This is how tiny it is. It's so cute. But yeah, I've also tried it out, but only it's on only on its own. So excited to try it out with foundation, see if I like it. Next, I got a shower gel from Find Your Happy Place in the Sweet Treat scent. And I also got this from Macari. Almost everything I got this the, the this month is from Macari except for like a few things. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how that shows you how good Macari is. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it says brown sugar and caramel for the scent notes. But um it has notes of warm brown sugar, caramel swirl, creamy vanilla, and dark chocolate. And it smells really good. Like, really good. It kind of smells like um, Christmas cookies from Philosophy. Yeah, it smells exactly like Christmas cookies from Philosophy. That's what it smells like. It smells exactly like Christmas cookies from Philosophy. I was trying to figure out what it smells like, but it, I figured it out. Yay. I got some on my nose. <laughs> so, yeah. Super excited to have that because I love Christmas cookies from Philosophy. So, yeah. And then, uh, the seller gave me a freebie of this. It's like a nail polish remover. Super excited to try that out, see if it's good. So yeah. Next, I will move on to um, some body mist that I got. And I got, they're all from Bath and Body Works. The first one that I got is A Thousand Wishes. This is pretty old packaging. This was like the second packaging that they did and it's from 2021 I'm not sure which month though but I know it was from 2021 but anyway love it super glad I have it and the scent notes are pink prosecco sparkling quince crystal peonies gilded amber amber and amaretto cream there you go so far, I like it, and the packaging is super cute, so yeah. And then, the next one I got is Berry Waffle Cone. This is from, I'm not sure which year they did this, but I want to say 2020 or 2021. Well, probably not 2020 because that was the year of COVID. So, probably 2021. Yeah, probably 2021. So, yeah. I didn't think I would like it, but it's pretty good. It has like a, um, the waffle cone note in this is very strong. Or like, very, like, um, it's like, yeah, it, the waffle cone scent is like very strong in this so yeah i thought i wouldn't like it but i do like it and anyway the scent notes are sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla come on dang it it just thing there we go so yeah super happy to have this Next one I got was Strawberry Snowflakes. This packaging is gorgeous. And this is from November 2022. 
this smells so good like so good i didn't think i would like it but i smelled it in the hand soap and i loved it um so yeah the scent notes are juice juicy strawberry whipped cream and icy iced bergamot There you go. So, super happy to have this because I love it. Although it's only a winter scent, but super excited to have it. And then last one I got is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, which is a um, dupe of conf Confetti Cake Pop. Packaging is super cute gives off 4th of July vibes. I think it was like summer collection, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's from May of last year. So it was last year's summer collection, or in last year's summer collection. So yeah, super happy to have this. It smells really good. It smells like, just like birthday cake. Um, scent notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. So yeah, super happy to have this. Next, I'll show you everything I got from uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls this month. First, I'll start off with Marshalls. So first thing I got is something that I normally would never get, but I've been trying to find one of these because... Um, my hair is like super frizzy and so yeah anyway it's a silk pillowcase from crim shop and i got this for 6.99 and it's like a blush color it's super pretty so yeah. And then next. Anyway, I'm excited to try that out and see if it helps with my breakouts because I suffer from acne. Mm, and um, frizzy hair. So I'm hoping it helps. So, and then. The neck, the last thing that I got from uh, Marshalls is a mini of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, and I got it for eight ninety nine. And I've already tried this out, and it all it's also a really good dry shampoo. Um, I've already used like half of it. <laughs> That's how good it is, but I've only used it like twice, so I will probably also repurchase this in the full size, or I might just wait until they have it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx again and just purchase the mini size or the full size if they have it, but yeah, super happy to have this because it is a really good dry shampoo for absorbing the oil and yeah. So, yeah, super glad to have that. Now for TJ Maxx stuff. First off, is something that I'm super excited I found because I've been trying to find them for so long. Um, the Shiseido cotton pads. Ooh, oopsie. Super excited to try these. <laughs> Cause I've never tried them before and I know they're the rave and anyway I got these from TJ Maxx for $3.49 um but yeah they had two packs of these this size and then they have one big size so I kind of wish I had gotten both both but eh these you can find these are like five bucks at Sephora, so yeah, which isn't bad at all. So yeah, 
super excited to try these out. Next is something that I've been wanting for so long. And it's the MAC um, ex Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter in Double Gleam. And I got this from TJ Maxx for $14.99. I'll pull it out and show you what it looks like. So you can see the beauty. See it, see it in all its glory. This, I've tried it and it's like a, it's a subtle highlighter but you can build it up. It's like a um, goldy tone highlighter kind of goldy champagne color but yeah it's super pretty I'll swatch it for you there you go see it's super pretty it's quite subtle on the skin though so yeah super happy to have this And then last thing I got from TJ Maxx is the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, So Jelly Lip Mask, or yeah, from the Strawberry Collection, and I got it for $5.99. It's, it's, I've already tried it out, and I, I would say it's not as good as, um, the Laneige ones or the fresh ones but it's still pretty good and it smells really good it smells like strawberries mm, it smells like fresh strawberries that's what it looks like as you can see I've already tried it out a little bit but I'm still glad I got it it's not as moisturizing as um the Laneige and um, fresh ones, but I still like it. So, yeah. That's everything that I got from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then, everything else is lush. So, get ready, because it's a lot. <laughs> okay. So, first... I got a whole full bag of empty uh, pots to turn in for when, like, to, like, either get money off my purchase or get a free face mask. I know it's a lot, but <laughs> I was like, hey, I might as well so I can get money off my purchase. <laughs> so, yeah, glad I got those. Then, next I will show you these. So, um, these are, sorry, I'll put that one on top. So, the Snow Furry uh, Body Scrub. I got two of them. And I've already used up half this one and I've only used it twice or well, like three four more more like three fourths of it and it's kind of oi shoot it's pretty runny see just ran out of the thing it's pretty runny which is kind of sucky but it is what it is it might be because it's expired, but I don't care. It's just shower scrub. Or body scrub. So, yeah. I'm excited to try, or I'm excited to have these. So, yeah. Next, I'll show you this. The Snow Furry Shower Gel in the um, exclusive packaging, blue packaging. There's also um, 
one in what like white packaging but I wanted this color because blue is one of my favorite colors so yeah of course all the glitter has settled to the bottom because it's expired but it's only been expired for uh four months yeah because it, it, it expired in january of this year so it's not too expired so i'm super happy to have this because i love the scent it smells like cotton candy it smells so good okay next i'll show you this i got a mini of the yog nog shower gel i thought i wouldn't like this but it has caramel it has a note caramel to it so i thought i would i would like it and i do like it because it smells like um caramel mixed with cinnamon so it's i mean it's not a favorite scent but i do like it yeah, it smells like caramel, cinnamon, caramel and car caramel and cinnamon mixed together. Yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm super happy to have it. And I got this as a freebie, just like an envelope thing you could put stuff in. And then next. I got the Elf Shake Shower Gel in the mini size, the 3.3 ounce. And this was from, ow, uh, November of last year. And it's good until January of next year. So I have quite a bit to use it before it goes bad, before it expires. And it's, the scent still stays around after it expires. I think it stays around for like a year-ish after it expires or so. So, yeah. Super excited to have this. Um, it, I would, I mean, it's described on the website as like a sour gumball scent, but I mean, I do agree with that, but it also smells like those, um, square like side the square like gum that square gum that you, you you that you would get out of um candy machines if you know what i mean but yeah um it says a tropical and refreshing body cleanser made with fresh grape kiwi apple juice and a hint of mint so yeah I do like it, but it's not my favorite scent from Lush. So, yeah. And then this Yognog is described as, or like the description is cozy up to creamy caramel scented lathers with a touch of spicy clove. So, yeah. And then with this, right? Yeah. This, the freebies that I got were a sample of the rose soap. This smells really good. And then a sample of the Mermaid Fun, which is pretty much shapeable, shapeable soap that can shape into anything. I'm not fan of the scent but yeah and then she gave me some stickers that sticker of an astronaut doing the um I forget what the move is called I forget what that move is called mm. wait I tip my tongue anyway I forget what it's called dab dabbing that's what it's called an uh, astronaut dabbing which is funny but cute and then a frog <laughs> so yeah
that's that. And then next, I got the Defluff shaving cream, or sh yeah, shaving cream. And the description is serve up silky smooth skin with this delectably dreamy shaving pudding, turning shaving into a delightful task. And this is supposed to smell like strawberries and it smells, eh, it doesn't really smell like strawberries and it's pink. To me, it doesn't really smell like strawberries, but it does like a, have a tiny hint of strawberry to it, but it's not my favorite s smell, but why do I keep on getting stuff on my nose? It's okay, but I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I want still want to try it because it's a kitchen exclusive item. So, yeah, I'm still excited to try it out, though. But, um, I watched reviews of it and people said that it would, that it clogs up your razor, which isn't the best, but I'm still excited to try it out. So, yeah. And then, this, I got this and this from the same seller, so it's basically the same freebies which kind of not happy about, but it is what it is. So sample the rose soap. Sample of murmured fun. I mean, only she only get. I mean, she did give me different stickers, but everything else was the same. So that's the first sticker. That's the second one, like an Easter themed one. And then, that's the last sticker, which is, I have no clue what that is, but looks like, uh, churchy, kind of, I don't know, but, yeah. So. I got one last thing and then I'll be done. Yay. The last thing is the aloe shower smoothie. And the description of this is start your day with the citrusy kick of Brazilian orange oil and Sicilian red mandarin oil. So yeah, and this has like a weird texture, it's like a, has kind of a orange juice pulpy texture, but it's really good, and I'm not crazy about the smell, but it's really good if you are, if you have, um, what's the itchy stuff, psoriasis, is that the itchy skin condition it's I would say if you have psoriasis or like a itchy skin condition it's really good for that because it calms it really well um but yeah I already tried it out as you can see a little bit I love it it's it helps my with my um itchiness that I get every now and then so, yeah. Because I have KP, which sucks, but this helps it a lot. And the freebies that I got are a sample of the Karma Soap, which smells pretty good. Which it gave me quite a big piece yeah it smells pretty good and then come on and then next she gave me a sample of the 
Lime, Bow Lime Bounty Body Lotion. She wrote Body Butter, it's, but it's... Lush doesn't have body butters. They have body lotions. Oh, it's the body lotion. So, yeah. This smells really good. It smells like key lime pie. So, it smells really good. And I, I love their body lotions. They're really good. Yeah, this is a body lotion, not a body butter. Lush doesn't have body butters. So, yeah. Makes your skin glowy and moisturized and very, very soft. So, yeah. It's really, really good. Put that on my hand. There we go. So it's green, obviously. So yeah, that is everything that I got this month. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video which will be my empties video. Bye!